Hey, I'm Joey Helms, filmmaker and creative director based out of Chicago and on the side I'm running a YouTube channel revolving around filmmaking and stories from around the world. In our journey as filmmakers we encounter new concepts and ideas every day, be it creative challenges we have to overcome or technical aspects we have to understand in order to use our tools to their fullest extent. As you move up to shoot with professional part focus Cine zoom lenses like the Fujinon M case, one technical feature you will certainly come across is flange focus adjustment or commonly known also as back focusing. A properly back focused par focal zoom lens keeps your subject in focus as you zoom in or out. However, most cinema lenses do not have an easy back focus adjustment and many associate back focusing or setting the correct flange distance with the tedious and time consuming shimming process where you add or remove thin metal or plastic rings, so called shims, to the back of your lens beneath the lens mount to hit optimal flange focus. But don't you worry, all Fujin and Cine lenses have a back focus adjustment ring, making the calibration process extremely easy and very fast. So in this video, let's walk through the simple steps to precisely calibrate your lens's back focus. First, place your camera with the lens on a tripod and pull out a good old focus shard or semen star. If you don't have one of those handy because you're on set, don't you worry, just use a fence or a brick wall or any object with fine detail will do. If you're adjusting a wide angle lens, place the camera around 6 feet away from the shard. If it's a tele lens, keep a 15 to 20 feet distance. Next you want to open up the aperture all the way. This is key for you to nail the back focusing. If your image is overexposed, throw on an ND filter or simply adjust your shutter so that the shard is properly exposed. Sweet! Also turn up the contrast of your monitor or viewfinder and dial down its brightness. If it helps, turn on peaking assist but not too high. If your lens happens to have a 2x extender, switch that one to 1x. One Alright, with all prep done, now we are getting to the interesting part. First, zoom in all the way on your chart. Now adjust the front focus ring on your lens until you hit optimal focus. Then zoom all the way out, full wide. The next step is to loosen the screw on the back focus ring and rotate that back focus ring until the picture is crisp and sharp again. Now repeat these steps 2-3 times to achieve best results, especially when you shoot 6K or 8K. Don't be shy, sometimes it takes a few turns until you nail it and keep in mind, Use the front focus ring when you're all the way zoomed in and use the back focus ring when you're all the way wide. Once you hit the sweet spot with your back focus, the last step to do is tighten the screw on the ring. But hey, don't over tighten it because it could dent the barrel. If you follow these super simple and fast steps, you can be confident in your lens tracking focus throughout the entire zoom range and you, you can focus on your shoot, pun intended. Thanks so much for watching. For more info, check out fujinon.com. Bye.